So in your mini kit to make the little um, needle book, thin book, and heart, lavender heart, that's um, like a mini pin cushion, what you're going to get is a small package with the thread, that's the little loop, and the button, so we're just going to pop those aside. And then also we have an envelope full of lavender, which is um, it's actually lavender buds, not the stalks, so that's lovely. And then we have a needle, and we also have the little template, so we're going to cut out the heart to create that. So that's the pieces that are there. The piece that's there underneath that template, that's going to make the three hearts. And then we also have in the kit the little pages and the little pocket that's going to go inside as well. Right, let's get making. So we're going to take first of all the pocket piece and we're going to work on that. So we're going to take our thread and we're going to take one piece, one section and put the rest aside. And then we're going to split this one into two. So the best way to do that is to take one out at a time. So we're going to split off three. One, I focused, two, three. piece aside as well. We'll use that in a moment. Now we bring those three ends together. So you take those three threads and pull them tight between your thumb and first finger and then you take your needle. This is a cruel needle which has a really long eye and a fluffy. Anyway, go through. Lovely, so we've got our needle threaded. Now we're going to do um, a quilter's knot. So we wrap it round six or seven times. Then we hold that coil, hold that coil tight, but loose enough so you can pull the needle through. So hold it firmly, but not squish too much. Then pull it through, and there you've created a really nice knot. I'm just going to trim that. Now this is going to disappear later. We're just going to use it to secure. So what we do with felt in this piece, we're going to start where we're not stitching. So we're actually going to be stitching along this top edge. So we start on the side and we go up to where we're going to start stitching. So we're actually going through the fabric, through the, the lovely fluffy centre of the fabric. And that knot's just going to hold that thread in position, but we're going to snip it off later. So now we're going to start, so we're just going to first of all do a securing stitch on the end. And then you wrap over the top of the needle like so you actually create a tiny knot at the top of your stitch. Can you see that? So 
so it gives a different finish along the top but whichever you choose it's good to just continue with that one I like the knots I don't know it just makes me feel like it's more secure if um, I don't know if you know it got a piece of it got um, broken a lot a section along the top it's not going to all fall out because it's got all these tiny knots to secure it in position if you're um, not confident about just going ahead and spacing then you can take a ruler and draw dots at the three millimeter point of each oops so if you go wrong like I just went wrong just put your needle back into the loop into the knot and pull and then allow it to gently find its own place again show you. So as you can see mine are slightly off. I like that. I like it because it looks like it's a really country cottage <laughs> finish rather than being perfect like a sewing machine. Um, this really feels handmade and as you can see when we do it with a knot it does have more texture. If you do it without the knot like this one it does have a much flatter edge so you have practice on something else and see whichever one you prefer now I'm gonna finish that and then join you in a moment now we've got to the end of the row of the stitches so I'm just going to finish off so this is the last stitch we've done just make sure I'm focused that so you can really see so now I'm just going to do one extra knot so put it around twice Pull it through. I'm a bit not obsessed, I think. <laughs> to make it secure, that really holds it securely. And now we've got this loose end of a thread. So I'm going to take, as we started, go back through that felt, like so. So it's invisible on both sides. It's really down in the centre of the felt. And come out anywhere. Mine's come out at the bottom this time, so that's fine. And then just snip that off. Flush to the edge, like so. And again, we can do the same. We can just snip that knot off flush to the edge. Like that. That should be fine. Lovely. Now we're going to stitch the next bit. Now we're going to join the pocket onto the outside of the book. So we're going to start stitching where the, the, um, the top of the pocket is and then all the way around the edge until we meet that point again. So put a fresh um, piece of thread onto your needle so that it's long enough to do the full length or we'll try to do the full length we might not be able to but you know how to change threads if it doesn't reach so if you prefer you can actually um, pin it let me show you and so just pop a pin in like this it's just we want the corners to be perfectly matching you can tack it if you're really unsure about making sure that it stays perfectly aligned or you can just go with the flow and go without pinning. I find when I'm pinning, my thread gets caught um, and it frustrates me like crazy. So, <laughs> so I go with that. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start in the fabric, come up, but we're going to come up just through 
that first stitch. Can you see there's a nice knot on the end? We're going to come in just before that, so that's going to make that junction really secure and strong. And because that's where the pressure is going to be on the book um, as you're using the button and the loop. So we go back through again, just through that top section. I'll do another little knot, a twist, and then pull it through, like so. And now I'm going to do the first stitch. And we're going to do... Just a twist to hold it in position, like so. Now I'm going to do another one. I'm going to go a bit further down. And I'm going to do that knot one, one time around. That's holding that beautifully. And I'm going to go back through that stitch again. Do it twice round. I've got a really nice secure knot there. Now I'm just going to snip off that knot. So we're going to be stitching over that now. And I'm going to do it on the top, on the outside, because this is what's going to be seen. So Tip, keep your finger pinched on the corner as you're stitching and that way it won't move because sometimes um, these fabrics, one side can move just slightly and misalign them. Let me show you a corner. So again we're doing that little knot and I'm going to make that knot go right on the corner like so and then do my next stitch. Like that. So my corner is um, well secured and closed. Now I'm going to finish all the way around and I'll join you when we get back to that point. Lovely, so we're back at the start. And can you see there, I've got one, one more stitch to do to reach that beginning point. But well done you for doing that whole edge. We're going to make this strong. So we're going to put our needle through, not just through the fabric, but through the knot. look there like that so it might look a bit lumpy but don't worry about that at all <clears throat> it's absolutely fine and then I'm just gonna undo a knot like so that is so strong now and when we put the button on and the loop, we're going to do it on those points where the pockets meet so that it's really strong. 
because we've got two layers of fabric and we've got all that sewing as well. The sewing is what will make it strong because we want this to last and last and who knows, hand it on down, wouldn't that be the sweetest thing? Right, so now we're going to make our loop because we're going to put that on the back of the book. So take your twine, this is actually flax twine so it is super strong and you're going to twist it to a little knot. Two thirds of the way down. So you've got, so that's one third and that's two thirds of the string. So now I'm going to pull my knot tight because I'm happy with the position. And there we go. So the reason this is long is because it's got to go all the way around the book. So now we're going to attach that to the back. So we've got our thread on that back position there. So when you tie your loop, you want the loop to go on the back and the button to go on the front. So just double check, this is the way the book would normally be and these are the pockets that's the right side. So let's pop. So then you place this loop right there on the back and as you can see it's, there's the pocket so it's going to be super strong which is what we want and now we're going to go where our thread is coming out at the front and we're just going to tie, tie it on with a stitch can do this with the household thread it will be less it will be more hidden so if you're not confident um, change threads like so and on the other side I'm just grabbing the stitch so it's not seen really on the back, the stitching, but it's just grabbing the, the, the stitch with a knot in it already. So just going over it a few times, make it super strong. And now I'm going to do a little knot, so I just put my the last loop, I just put my needle through it, and that's going to create a tiny knot as I pull down. So that is not going anywhere. Again, now I'm just going to take this thread, feed it back into the felt, go down the stitches through the center of that felt so that it's not seen this thread. Take it out like so. Lovely, so we've tied on that loop, that's really secure. And now we're going to attach the button. So tie a knot in your thread and then go into the back of your pocket. And we're going to start again by hiding that stitch. Like so. So we're going to we're going to snip that knot off in a minute. So don't worry about it. It's just to make sure that the thread doesn't pop through. I'm just going to secure this knot at the end. So I'm going to go back down to where the button is going to be. So this is about two stitches down. Let me show you. Put the button on the front. So the button is going to be near the edge but not right on the edge. So that's where we're going to end on the wrong side of that pocket where that button's going to be. So we'll go back down. Now we're going to put 
the needle and thread through where that pocket is. Put the button on. And then when you sew the button on, make sure you catch the top of those stitches. Don't pull it really tight, give it a bit of slack, always when you're sewing a button on, give it some breathing room. And then go back through the back where those stitches are, where it's strong, and sew your button on. Now this time I'm not going to go through the hole on the button, I'm going to go from the back through to the front, but I'm going to miss the hole, like so. And now we're going to come up and we're going to give that button a necklace, I'm not sure what you call this bit actually. But you coil the thread around, there we go, that's how it looks, what is the technical word? Uh, I'll pop it down in the notes. If <laughs> and now sew through that collar that you've just created. And we're going to do another little knot, so through your loop put your needle pull tight, pressing down on the button so as not to um, damage the fabric. And now do that again. This time put two twists. So your needle's going through the collar. And now you've got two twists of thread around the needle. And as you pull, lovely knot. Oh, I love a knot. We're going to take it back to the wrong side of the fabric. And again, we're going to feed that thread through just the one layer of the pocket. Like so. So your pocket's still there. I'm just going to snip that off because that's really secure on the back of the button. off. Now we're going to just snip that knot off that we first created but make sure you don't snip the, the stitches. And look at that, you have created your little book. Well done you. Next we're going to make the little heart, the lavender heart pin cushion that's going to go inside and also the heart that's going to um, hold the pins. So first of all take your paper scissors and cut out the little heart. There we go. Now take your friction pen and you've got this long piece. It's actually going to need three hearts cut out of it. So just draw around the edge. I'm using a friction pen because the pen is removed by heat afterwards. But if you don't have one, that's fine. Just use a normal pen or pencil, whatever you have to hand. Lovely. Now we're going to cut those out. I'm going to use my fabric scissors this time. And we're going to start off with the heart that's going to go in the centre of the book, the pop-up heart. So all we're going to do with the centre one is we're going to do around the edge and a heart through. Take your pen or your pencil. If, you're, you, if you, it's not a friction pen, make sure it's a colour that won't stand out too much. And then just do a mark at the centre point there, at the base. And mark 
at the top that's the same distance from the edge and then if you're not you can measure it or you can just do it by eye and that way it's easier to draw your line around the heart this is the stitching line you can leave it as just dots if you wish it's probably better to leave it as dots if your pen can't be removed later there we go take your so this is going to be our stitching line and then we're going to just do a lovely edge around it as well so again start with a knot I'm going to start in the center so I'm going to go a bit higher and just do a straight sashiko stitch all the way around Keep them roughly the same size stitches. These will be seen on both sides. Whoops. If you're not confident to draw this heart, you can measure from the edge all the way around, just making a little mark, a little dot. to catch the knot. Lovely. Okay, so now we're back to the top centre of our heart. And now we're going to stitch around the edge. So to get to the edge, I'm going to go into the fabric again. Do you remember we did that earlier? I've done it many times. So go into the fabric so it's not seen on either side. And then we're going to start stitching middle centre. can snip that knot off now because that will be secure but I think I'm going to keep catching it. Tidy up a bit. Lovely. So now we're just going to do a securing stitch to start. And we're going to so loop through that, put your thread through that loop and that creates a really nice secure start. You can do a second one if you wish. Me and my knots, I don't know. That's it. Now we're going to do, I'm going to do the, the twisted knot again.
Lovely, I'll see you at the other end of that heart. So our pop-up heart is done. Now we're doing the little um, pincushion heart that's going to go inside. And as you can see, I've put a little star on the back. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So already I've done the sashiko stitch around the edge of this one. Now I'm going to do the little star. So just do a cross. And then a little cross through that, X through that as well. Again, do your little knot, put it through. And we're gonna start at the top. The top of the star. You can elaborate if you wish. This one um, is not going to be seen on the back, so if you want to do something a little bit more fancy, like a flower, or you can do. I'm going to make this the X slightly smaller than the, the cross. This is a cute way to, or place to experiment if you wish to. I'm just going to secure on the back because this isn't going to be seen, it's going to be inside the pincushion. Nice and secure. Lovely. Now we're going to stitch them together. So to do that, I'm going to put them as they're going to be and we're going to do the same blanket stitch around the edge to secure them but we're only going to stitch from this point all the way around to this point I'm going to mark it for you so we're going to stitch from here to here all the way around this is going to be the gap where we're going to put the lavender so we're going to stop stitching when we get to that point and then do the lavender and then finish off stitching. So I'm going to start as usual. Sorry if I keep repeating myself if you already know this. But I'm not sure if some of you jumped about the video and haven't um, heard the beginning bit. So secure really well. nail on that knot and pull tight so I'm always worried about or not worried but like I think oh, I don't want my stitch to fall open and then to do it again right so I think that is secure So again I'm doing the knots, especially on this one I think it's important to have it secure because you don't want the, um, the lavender buds falling out. Right, I'm going to see you at the other end of this heart. So well done you. We've got to this last point where we're going to stop. So I'm sure yours is looking lovely. So I'm going to do, again, a double knot. Secure it well. Pull it down. Now that's not going to go anywhere. Right, now we're going to take 
the lavender buds. Make a little pita bread pocket. <laughs> it's not a very um, glamorous thing to say. But it's... So take your lavender buds and your little pita bread pocket and I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper underneath and this hopefully will catch any of the lavender buds that escape. But make a little funnel and push them down. And then just push them in with your finger. Really wedge them down, deep down into the point and into the top as well. Lovely. As you squeeze them, the scent comes out. But we want it wedged, really solid, so that the, um, the pins go into the lavender rather than through too much, although they will go through, but as much as possible. It's amazing how many you can get in. So if you've had a lot of spillage onto your piece of paper, let me show you how to sort that. So if you've got spillage, just again make a funnel and put it back in the back in the bag. nice and plump now. Now we're going to pinch the side like so. Take our needle, move this out of the way. So pinch the side that lavender down and then continue stitching. Try and focus. And again, now we're at the last stitch. Can you see we've got that little gap? We've finished all the stitches, so I'm just going to put my needle through that stitch, that last stitch. I'm going to secure it now. So put it through again. Go around. Pull that tiny knot. Pull it down with your nail. Make it really tight. Now we're going to take the thread through the heart and then snip it off that thread. Oh, that little star looks cute. There we go. Lovely. And just squidge the lavender about just to make it even. But we are ready. Oh my goodness, it's looking sweet. Right, next we're going to put the pages in and we're going to put the pop-up heart in the middle as well. See you in a moment.
So get your embroidery floss back in your needle again and we're going to take the outer first book and we're going to fold it over, crease it really well, make sure your corners are lined up so that your spine is perfectly, perfectly positioned. If you want to, if you've got a friction pen, you can mark those points. If you don't have a friction pen, um, just give it a really good crease just to make sure that we don't um, miss the line later. So those are our two outers. I'm just going to mark the inner as well. And now we're going to start stitching on the top edge. So again, take your embroidery floss and you can tie a knot in the end I'm going to start by going in You know the routine <laughs> with that knot later. So I'm just going to secure that really well. Double twist, pinch knot, and we're done. Now I'm just going to sashiko sew all the way down the spine. On that crease you can draw a line if you want to Actually, I'm going to do it from the outside because that's the side we're going to see we're going to catch the pocket as we stitch Just feel it's in the needle. You can see there, it's just in the needle. Lovely bit of book binding again. Oops. So I'm going to just make sure it's really secure on the end. Do a little knot over the stitches. Pull that tight down. Now we're going to insert the book uh, pages. So again, crease, it's keep, keep getting that centre point. Crease it over, make sure it's really perfectly aligned so my pages are looking nice and lined up and if you want to pin now because this is really going to notice if it goes um, misaligned Make sure again. Lovely. So now we're going to stitch. We're just going to stitch these bottom stitches to the outer edge here. We've just secured in place. Now 
I'm just doing the stitches on the inside, not on the outside. So I'm going from the the, the um, embroidery knots on the edge to the knots on the white pages at the bottom. But not pulling too tight because we want to keep the form good. So I've just done a, a loop through and I've done a little knot. twist and now we're going to lose this thread and we're going to take it up behind the book and we're going to come out at the top here so go into the pages Can you see where we've come out? Just at the top of the pages where we did those earlier securing stitches. Flatten it just to make sure everything is perfectly positioned. This is a bit that you need to um, take your time with. So we want to make sure our pages are really well aligned. Okay. So now we're going to secure from these loops on the white pages. to the book, go through those stitches. Do a few through the white fabric onto the brown fabric, but only showing on the f on the back, not on the front. Lovely, we are almost there. So now we're going to go back up through to the edge, not showing on the outside. And we're going to vanish this through the top, through the middle of the, the felt. Oh, sweet. Oh, I forgot the knot. The starting knot. Snip that off. And we are done. How cute is that? And yep, just get the hairdryer out and just give it a quick blast to get rid of all these lines and I'll show you the finished product. <laughs> 